Hello everybody and welcome to the second to last Dictators No Peace Ukraine series on the channel. Today, we are going to be recolonizing all of the Americas. If you enjoyed this video, please, make sure to like and subscribe and also hit that bell cause it helps you get notified whenever I upload awesome content. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. So as you can see, we have taken Suriname, Guyana, Venezuela and Colombia and we are about to take even more. At this point, we have so much money because I sat a little AFK in the morning. Attacking nations just doesn't affect our economy anymore. It's wonderful being this powerful. So now that we can buy anything we want in terms of military, trading in this game doesn't even benefit us that much. It's more of a waste of time really. Just keep going and someday we'll conquer all of South America. The US is about to get nuked. Nuke boy, prepare the nuke. Great job nuke boy. Seems like we have another bonus nuke. Trust me, you don't have to do anything here, I have it covered. And Brazil is done. What a quick turn of events. Let's keep moving south. It's kinda weird that Canada has a 5-star military. I mean, I get that they have never lost a war, fun fact by the way, but again. Their military isn't that strong to cope with the demands of a military power like Germany or Russia. And South America is finished. Well, there is the Trinidad left, but that's almost non-existent already, isn't it? We are going to be moving into the Caribbean now, then we will take the scenic route to Central America, into Mexico, and into the north of North America. By the way, don't be as stupid as me in this game. I just want to have a challenge. When you play as a country don't just go for close countries, go all around the globe. These American and previously standing African nations were half-star nations. Extremely feeble for a starting nation to conquer. It's just fascinating how we are warmongering our way through these nations. It's like they don't even put up a fight. So I just don't pay attention, that is a logical explanation too. And we have pretty much basically reached Mexico. Time for the serious and dedicated warmongering to commence. Okay, after some useless trading, we are back on the Mexican and American conquest. We are doing insanely well. By the way, I could swear that Guatemala put a stronger fight than Mexico. Fun fact, after we decimated Mexico with that nuke, Guatemala's armies were sort of stronger. Interesting. And that's the recolonization of the Americas. Smash like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow for the final part. Peace.